So everything's a multiverse movie now, right? The Flash, Spider-Man, Spider-Man again, everything, everything's multiverse, everything's multiverse. You know what I've noticed though? Every multiverse movie kind of has like the same motive, usually for the villain. This is it, ready, last chance. If you don't want me to ruin multiverse movies for you, click off, okay? I'm just saying, click off. This might be too much info, might be too, too Matrix, escaping the Matrix kind of stuff. My family member is dead and I love my family member, so I should go to a different universe and get them. That makes sense, right? Exhibit A, the first person to do it was Kingpin in Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, as far as like my knowledge, maybe someone did it before that, but for me, it's Kingpin. So good job, Kingpin, you're, you're fairly original. Kingpin's whole thing in that movie, right? His wife, his son, they died. He wants to bring them from a different universe into his. That's the first example of it. And then, of course, Doctor Strange, they ripped that exact thing off. Wanda, she says, hey, my kids, I don't have them anymore. They're like fake dead in this universe, so I'm gonna go to a different universe where they're still alive, and I'm gonna bring them into this universe. So now they're not dead anymore. I know what you're thinking. Uh, that's probably it. Okay, it's just a coincidence. It happened twice. No, that's not it. The only real culprit uh, that I can't really think of is No Way Home. So No Way Home, props to you. Yeah, that's kind of like the opposite. Like they were dead and they're trying to stay alive for the villain. So it's different enough. I'll give you points, No Way Home. Okay, just take them. But then we get to Across the Spider-Verse and the motive's still there. Okay, it snuck through and uh, it's still there. Miguel, good old Spider-Man 2099. He says, hey, my kid is dead in a different universe. So I'm gonna go to that universe. So that way, my dead kid's not dead anymore. It keeps happening though. There's more examples. The Flash, the new Flash movie. I don't know if you know what the Flash movie is about, if you're gonna see it, if you even care. Not really any spoilers, this is in the trailer. The whole thing with the Flash, right? He goes, hey, my mom's dead, all right? She's dead as a doornail. That sucker, she bit the dust. I'm gonna go to a different universe where she's still alive, and now she's not dead anymore, hooray! Now my family member who was dead, they're no longer dead. Good Lord, multiverse guys, we have to get more creative, I'm sick. I'm getting sick of this, man. I'm getting sick of it, okay? I haven't seen Across Beyond the Spider-Verse, whatever heck that the third movie's called, but I'm just saying, it set up some seeds in the end of the movie, no spoilers, that we might even get more of this motive for new characters introduced. For a concept that is so big and never-ending and creative and expansive, I don't know why we're getting hooked up all on the same kind of like motive. It's kind of like, you know, you have the power of the sun in your hands, right? And you just want to use it to like charge your phone. It's like, guys, we, we can use it for that, but like, let's move on. Let's think of something else. Let's get creative. Now, I'm not saying that like, I hate all of these movies for kind of just jumping on the same train. Some of them do it better than others. And a character like Miguel in Sp Spider-Verse, Across the Spider-Verse, it's not that important to the story. It just helps us understand him better and set up the big deal of why Miles can't do what he's trying to do. So I'll give that a little bit of, you know, it's not the end of the world. Wanda though, Wanda, I think Flash honestly was more emotionally resonating than Wanda's Flash's whole shebang in the Flash movie. But I'm just sick of this motive, man. Uh, have you guys seen this trend? I don't know, it just hit me and I was like, every multiversal villain they all have like the same motive. What the hell? Why do we gotta, let's stop this. It always ends in that third act of like, oh my gosh, maybe this isn't right. Oh, you gotta stop. You can't bring them back. They're gone. You know, you get that speech in like all of these movies. I'm getting sick of it. And you should be too. Multiverse, give us better stuff. Give us more stuff.